Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one and only Archer with Archer Astrology. How are you? Gemini, it is time to do your February 2023 monthly love energy check-in for the one on your mind, you versus them, and see what is going on. We're going old school, traditional-like. We'll take a look at the past, where you've been, the present, while you're hanging out with me. Hi. And then a future potential outcome for you and them. See what may be coming in, going on, and going out. We will use the talk deck for our base cards and the penumbra deck for our clarifiers. This combination has not been steering me wrong. So I'm a cancer. When I find something that works, I just stick with it. Just dig those claws right the frick in claws of life. All right. So we have, uh, we're making it through a full moon in Leo. That's our Theodore Roosevelt uh, energy going on there of, okay, let's get started. Time to go. All that, it's literally like the energy of, okay, all this shit you've been talking, all this stuff you've been manifesting, let's take some action. And then you couple that up with the dreamy Neptune um, and the moon transitioning a lot of Virgo energy in the beginning of the month and Jupiter and Libra connect up later. And there's a lot of Pluto influence. So right now, the big boys out in the back, clear out to Pluto in the North Node, are influencing everything. Even though everything up front is all nice and direct, Mars and Mercury got their stuff ironed out and that got fixed. Um, meanwhile, we're still in Aquarius season, so you got to watch the big guys out back because they're trying to party while nobody's looking. All right, so let's do it to it. We will do 9 to 20 card spread. I don't know. We'll just pull cards till we see what happens. All right, let's do it to it for Gemini for February 2023. What is going on between them and the one on their mind when they clicked on this reading? And also when they clicked the bell and the subscribe and the share and decided to be a part of the familia. Hey, come and hang out. It's comfy. All right, Gemini, here we go. Two shuffles. Uno and dos. All right, let's go for Gemini for February 2023. I always feel like I'm announcing like a NASA like rocket launch when it's like, okay, Gemini, here we go. It just sounds very, very like before the Apollo moon missions. All right. Let's see where we're going, Gus Grism. <laughs> wow, way to make an entrance, Gemini. You are the energy at the bottom of the deck with the lovers. So even in the past, the focus, the energy was like on you all the time. So a choice being made, almost like overpowering or a lot of energy. Maybe you felt like multiple options, multiple choices, Cupid on crack, a lot of stuff going on. But this is all about you, Nine of Swords. Yeah. There's your energy right there, staying up late at night, thinking about this. And then the Prince of Pentacles, the Earth sign energy with Taurus. And that little Earth sign chariot with the bull and all that shielding around him. To a Queen of Wands, Leo energy. So this passion was something that you weren't used to or unfamiliar with. Almost like a choice that you wanted. Maybe not coming to fruition. Queen of Pentacles really set on, on what you've been through. Five of Cups. Okay, yeah, so I see it. So you've always wanted this love. You've always wanted it to work out right, but yet it never really has. And it always winds up with these late night fights. This is the thing between you guys that, that maybe got to you the most was that once you guys started to reach out and started to, it, like, it was almost like to the point that everything became a fight. And like you were nervous about any text that came through or if the phone rang or just like being on pins and needles that everything you tried to do would just backfire horrifically. And it was always looked at like you were, you were trying to do or be something you're not. And you were like, no, I'm being genuine. I'm actually the honest offers I'm making here are what I want to have happen and what to come true. And they might never believed you, or there was always interference or them being stuck in their ways, the fear of commitment, the I'm not ready for anything, or no, this is too much to go back on, or people don't change. Grounded energy right there, Taurus energy, fixed energy. And you're saying, no, I'm different than that. I'm not what you've dealt with before. And they're saying, I'm not ready for this. And it would lead into these nine of swords fights where you're up all night texting each other back and forth. Or if you're in the same house, you wind up in the living room and you're screaming and the police wind up getting called and one of you guys are down on the floor and penned by the cops trying to talk your way out of it while the other one's in the corner backed up crying and trying to figure out what happened and just so overwhelmed that you can't sleep. And then after the one person gets hauled away, then the other person is left at the house and they're trying to figure out what to do and where to go and they don't sleep that night. That kind of energy where it just kept going and you're like, I can't take or do this anymore. I'm ready for something new, Archer. And I'm like, okay. Let's clarify it, because when the cops get called, it actually gets a little wild. I try to always avoid health and legal issues, because 
that's not where you come to for those things. However, we got it showing up here, Gemini. So I want to see where it goes. So we're going to pull some clarifiers because your choice was always for love. And this nine of swords just jumped in like almost overwhelmingly and took me by surprise. So let's see. That's the sound of the police. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Give me clarifiers on the nine of swords, the prince of pentacles, and the queen of wands. Gemini, Taurus, and Leo. All right. Let's see. Because... The choice that you didn't want to be sad is down here. Very Capricorn right here, almost trying to like stay balanced in your Gemini energy. Prince of Wands underneath that. But this Five of Cups, like almost feeling like you're stuck in, in, a, in a constant feeling of, of disappointment, of letdown, and not wanting to do that anymore. Your, your choice is love. That's, I mean, that's what the Gemini card is about with the lovers, about a choice being made, a decision. So let's see. Clarifiers. Let's just pull a couple on this, all right? Here we go. All right, Gemini. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is a five of swords, taking only what you need to survive. You know, she's got three, and she left two down behind her, but everybody else is looking. Like the neighbors were all coming out and looking and seeing what's going on, and you felt embarrassed and kind of, yeah, and the devil, Capricorn energy obsession. This could have been the result of addictions. Maybe, maybe one of you guys had like a gambling addiction or a sex addiction or a drug addiction that... It, spirit kept motivating it to a point that was like, this has to happen. Six of Wands, this has to happen in order for you to get to your victory and achieve it. Sometimes it's the most horrific of interference, but it's interference. It's a flag on the play because the motivation to a Six of Wands victory with this Leo energy is right there for sorts. See, even up at night, this is like trying to rest after everything happened. And that initial shockwave, like going to sleep after being in a car accident, and you still kind of feel it and hear it, and you're like... Ugh. So you're trying to sleep and, and, and just like, just like I need to rest, but you know, those swords are right there. And the moment you wake up, then there's, there's that choice. The moment you wake up, you've been to hell and back on this, focusing on this choice, this decision, and just trying to bring in the love and like, well, everything that everybody says this card's about, I just want to be happy. And spirit hears that. So while you sleep and manifest it underneath this full moon in Leo, that's the motivation that spirit has to go forward. Capricorn's not always the obsession in the past. Yeah. Obsession. But in the uh, in the present, it's the motivation because you put away the stuff you don't want to do. You're not going back to that. You're, you, it was one of those staring at the ceiling after everything happened going, never again, never again, not doing it, that type of a thing. And that's when energy is balanced out. Literally, you've got the lovers and lovers. Your major arcana shows up both times as you come to the present where it's like, okay, Archer, I'm here what's going on right now and where's this going to go because i'm i'm like long overdue and it's about damn time it got better right so let's find out where we're going actually let's see we're going to just set this one aside i appreciate you very much for being here gemini i love you very much oh the next card at the bottom of the deck here or top of the deck was the six of cups yeah you're really reflecting on everything that went wrong everything that went right and just trying to figure out where to go to a cup to a pentacles to an ace of cups yeah, you want this balanced new love decision, all right? But you're here hanging out with me. I would appreciate it if you like, shared, commented, and subscribed, and did everything we need to do help me manifest that 2,300 subscriber mark I am looking for, hashtag new me in 23. And now let's take a look currently as you hang out right now in between the new moon in, what's the new moon in Pisces and the full moon in Leo. Oh, this will be just an interesting Valentine's Day, won't it now? They do though, don't they? Don't they do? They do, they do though, don't they? All right. All right, Gemini. Here we go. I'm done. Let's go for it. Currently, uh, current weather conditions at Gemini. Here we go. All right. <laughs> nice. See, the bottom of the deck is the two of cups now. So you're like, yeah, kind of Archer. This energy is kind of intense. This is major arcana. That's full steam right there. So it's, it's like it's turned to 11, right? You know this. It's your card. So you're like, I'm ready for something just a little more balance, a little more level. You did pop that ace of cups before I shuffled this deck to the two of cups at the bottom. So it's a minor arcana. It's like just coming in. All right, let's see what up. We got the eight of pentacles. Nice. See, balancing out. Look who came back. The six of cups, the reflection on the past, trying to look for that happiness. A deep soulmate connection between you guys is the two of pentacles is back. Those last couple of cards I pulled from the past are carrying into the current. We were already getting to see it. Maybe even that's Maybe that's what's happening to you, where you feel like you're almost starting to see the future, like you know it's coming and then it happens. Okay. Yeah. Way to show me off, right? All right. I, dude, this is why I like Gemini readings when you all take over. 
there's all three cards that popped before I shuffled right there, and they are indeed the current energy. It's almost like the decks were like, hey, Archer, here's all the next stuff coming, you know, and almost primed it and got it up. I told you these two decks are good. Oh, synced up, synced up big time, enough that I pulled four friggin' cards on it because your current energy is this Ace of Cups, this new love offer coming in that's a lot more smaller, two of Cups, balanced and stable. And I do say, whoop, seven of Cups, okay, you got multiple offers? Holy shit, Sherlock, look at that. You got multiple offers on your way. T Dude, temperance, patience, bro, patience. You got this major arcana on steroids that just freaking split shattered like, like shrapnel from a bullet ricocheting. And you got multiple offers that are going to start coming in faster than you can say, whoa, right there. And that's even using like an abbreviation. And look who it is. It's the Six of Wands Happiness. The clarifier is back. So you got full fledge on Caitlin Petty. And Kayla will not tell me her sign because she knows I'll do a reading. But I have suspected from when we met that she was indeed a Gemini. So this is after she sings all of her, all eight of her original songs. And she's on stage like at freaking Shea Stadium standing where John Lennon stood with his Rickenbacker just being like, holy crap, look what all just went down. Yeah, right there. And it's like, holy crap, Archer's predicted it too. We saw these cards get pulled before I got there. I don't even remember where these all came from. Oh, this Aries energy, two of wands. Okay, Willy Wonka. Yeah, go ahead. I already know what's going on. Spirit already knows you're doing the work. You're eight of eight of cup. Wow, pick a pick a pick a freaking element, Archer. Eight of Pentacles. You are Bob Ross fixing all the errors of the past. You're looking at it going, I don't like that freaking cloud. And then you're painting a new happy cloud. You're making an ace of pentacles perfectly, looking at all your past right now, reflecting on what you did like, what you didn't like, and finding this balance and stability to bring in an ace of cup love offer. Holy crap, you are looking good to them. Um, there ain't no way they're gonna notice this. You're pope, you're you're publishing shit. You are getting more noticed and more known. And even if you don't realize it, like, let's say you disconnected from it and like, you know what, Archer? I got to the give up. It is what it is point. I don't, it just wasn't going to happen. I was like, screw it. Just whatever. As soon as you disconnect, spirit's like, oh, no, no, oh, no, no, not going to happen. This Ace of Cups offer is coming. And that's that moment at your person's side of the fence where they're sitting there and all of a sudden they're like, hmm, Gemini? Why did I just think of Gemini? I'm just doing the dishes. Why did I just think of it? And th at that point, that's your Ace of Cups right there. And at that point, they hooked. They ain't going away. So let's take a look. Let's clarify this. So it's kind of like drop back five and punt and start in a new beginning because you had made it all the way to that major arcana Gemini. And then you decide, let's, we're going to try again. We're going to do a Two of Cups minor arcana. We're going to baby steps it. Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups upward. So let's see where it goes. I'm done. I don't even want to cut or do the boom, boom, boom thing. Nice. Nine of Swords. What made me freaking stop? You are up in your feels like, I think you're working too hard for this. Almost like just relax, chill out, breathe, let it go. Make having fun more of a priority. Cups of pleasure, the Gilded Age. You know, live a little high in the hog. Go get yourself a seven-course meal. Just kind of, it's time for Gemini time right now. Because Spirit's doing the rest of the work, Page of Pentacles, so that they can get you what you want. It's working. Right now, your person is still over there wondering why the hell scrubbing out a coffee cup made them think about Gemini. That's when that seed gets planted. The spirit's like, I'm good. I'm, I'll see you guys later. That kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles is getting planted in this Page of Pentacles energy right here for that balance and stability. You are, you are just bottom of the deck's chariot. Yeah. Right there's that house and home and family. And you, are, you see their car everywhere. I don't know where that came from. But all of a sudden, like the car your person drives, you see it everywhere. Like now everybody drives that car and you're like, dude, nobody wanted a Yugo. What the hell? And then your person's seeing it too and like, bruh, what the hell? So stuff comes in more that's propelling you guys full steam ahead. There could be distance right now between you guys or something that goes back to involving a family. But whoop, whoop, either way, it's coming in like full steam ahead where they can't control it. It's like back in Knight Rider, if you're an 80s baby, if you're a 90s baby, back when Mr. Feeney was a talking Trans Am and the, the bad guys were in the car and all of a sudden the car took over, switched itself into auto cruise, and, and like the person in the car could do nothing to control the car at that point. It sounds kind of freaky deaky, but like in context, it was really awesome. And that's kind of what's happening here. You can't, you can't miss it. And this actually ties to your all signs. Uh, the, the reading I did on Monday, this ties to that because I remember the sevens being very prominent in your all signs. Go check that all signs out. There's something there. Six of Pentacles, two of Nine of Cups. Okay, yeah, there's something there. There's something there with that chariot energy and a little Pisces on the side that you got some nine of cups coming at you. I told you, they can't stop thinking about you. Kylie Minogue, they can't get you out of their head. And this ace of cups, and look at how it 
freaking lines up, man. I love it. This is synchronicities and the message coming through because you got your nine of cups clarifying your ace of cups, which is what? Nine plus one is ten. Ten cups happiness. Yeah, we're there. Boom. Um, okay, you might, you're, feel, you're feeling nine of swords right now, but hang tight because on the other end of this, here's your nine nine connection. Check out nine nine because at the beginning of this, you're at the nine of swords. At the end, you're at the nine cups. So we got more synchronicities than Carter got liver pills, y'all. That one, figure that one out. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at a potential future outcome for my Jimmy Jims. And, um, you know, set your, set your chariot's GPS for potential outcome. We'll avoid all nine of swords moments because they're already out on the table and I'm not grabbing another deck. So we're safe. We're good. There. However, there's two ten swords hanging out. So, but you are an air sign and I do, ooh, house of cards. And I do uh, always say that air signs do understand that swords don't hurt people. You could leave us, I could slam a freaking knight sword right on this table here and we could sit and stare at it. I could do a live for two hours of just staring at the sword. It wouldn't hurt anybody. Unless we had a divine masculine walk in and pick it up and shove it like blunt force trauma through my head. That would suck. It's, it wouldn't be the first time. I wonder which lifetime that was. Oh, King Arthur. That's not horses. You're just banging a couple of coconuts. I have no clue where that came from. Meanwhile, back at your potential future outcome, Gemini. I love that like for me. I'd appreciate you and come hang out at my lives every Sunday-ish at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We go live and do an offense. All right, here we go. Potential future outcome. Get in there for Gemini. It's all right? It's all right. Okay, we're good. Bottom of the deck. Whoa. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got Earth coming out for generational wealth. This time around, you're manifesting the family. Something that goes the long distance. That once you guys come together, yeah, there ain't no getting rid of it. It's going to come in correct this time. And I see children coming. There's that seven future. Here's your five of swords coming in. More of the taking what you need to survive. You're feeling down and defeated, but you start to level up with the death card. Scorpio shows up. Scorpio's like, don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. This is because the whole new beginning's coming. I told you just when you think, it's just when you disconnect. And when you're like, yep, yep, Archer, I'm out. I'm good. It just wasn't meant to be. Spirit's like, nope, new beginning, bingo. That's literally that scene in Willy Wonka where Charlie hands back to Gobstopper and he's like, sorry, I, I didn't realize you were a prick. Oh, wow, where did that one come from? Holy crap, I don't know what that's going to do for the video. <laughs> Anyways, and then it's like, you did it. You won, Prince of Swords. You, you're going to be up in your head with a lot of messages coming in. Worried much about like what I just said, too. What's going to go wrong with it? Where's, it, where's that one going to take us to with the sun? Don't worry, here comes your happiness. Leo shows up with that Six of Wands card from before that the sun will shine and everything will be okay. It was just one syllable, Archer, just one syllable. You'll be fine, just like Gemini with double freaking Leo. Here we are, double Leo. Oh my goodness, and it's full moon energy. You literally, right now, it's that mighty lion roaring. Was not, was, walk the dinosaur, right? Long-term generational wealth coming in. You got some heavy Leo driving your future. Maybe you're embracing it, or this is a Leo you are dealing with, or somebody that is just embracing Leo. Maybe they started doing their hair slightly differently. And it becomes all about you and this strength to propel yourself forward into straight up happiness. Wow, I love it. So it, it's a slow beginning. It's like a warming up a car engine. And then once it's at that point where you can full steam ahead, that's when it moves forward right there. Chariot energy with Leo energy. The Cancer Leo soap opera does indeed forever continue. All right, give us our moon back, Leo. You had your full moon fun. All right, that's enough. That's Stop it. Stop it right now. Behave. All right. <laughs> and here, da, 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 here we go for some clarifiers on the future because it's going to start out rough. Then something Scorpio-ish is going to happen and make it turn real happy. And then all that Sun Leo energy shows up. I don't think it's going to take till August. That's just like way too far away. I don't do readings for that far into the future because it's just like, dude, nobody wants to know what's going to happen. You know, will they still need you when you're 64? Yeah, they will. Here's your Eight of Pentacles clarifying it. So your first card out from right now is what Literally, what propels you into the future? Being able to continuously Bob Ross fix everything when it comes your way. Wow, the Six of Cups. You might remember this from such energies as the immediate energy. And it's making an appearance back here with the Queen of Wands. You are at the lion cage at the zoo. So there's a lot of Leo energy around you. Um, there's, there's no way to be not happy when you're, when you're around a Leo. Leos just make people happy. And when you make two people happy, one of them is apt to be you, Three of Cups. And if you make three people happy, that's also spirit who's like, bravo, you passed all the tests, you won, the five of swords is over, and your new beginning can start. Peace. 
you've got your swords because it's you with the two of swords energy right there that if you need to use it, you can, but you're willing to proceed with some blind faith. Have faith at what is the potential future outcome. So um, you, you've got one in the chamber, but you didn't pull the hammer back. Thank goodness. Okay, that's good. You're just, you're just prepped for it. Two of pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay, repeat performance. You might remember this from the current energy too. Your two of pentacles. You've got a lot of synchronicities coming in where energies and cards are lining up between the two of you that your two of pentacles, they're going to be two of pentacles. And look what look what the next card we're going to clarify is. The next card is going to be the sun with the two of wands. The Willy Wonka choice fork in the road when your person gets um, free willed forced into making the decision to come forward for this happiness. And then you guys come back together. Five of wands. Right there's the struggle and they can't fight it anymore. You um, you got you got a lot of Leo energy floating in here at the end of this. That's it's like that's like Leo being like full moon in Leo. Time to get going. Time to be happy. Everybody. Come on now. Let's go, everybody in line, and get happy. And you and you guys are all like, okay, okay. And um, that first night back together will be very passionate. This drive right here is them being forced back to you. And they come in with an energy that can't be stopped. Straight up pure fire, pure passion, and a little boom boom stick for Gemini. Um, they're definitely thinking about you. Oh my goodness. And five plus one of wands, right there's your six of wands. I have actually, we've pulled both six of wands at some point during this reading. So Spirit decided we needed to make one more six of wands for you, Gemini. So that's three sixes. Figure that one out numerologically because whatever it is, it's straight up. I don't even know if I can hold all these up so you can get a screenshot of it. We'll figure out how. Give me a second because either way, um, there's no way around this happiness. You cooked. You are cooked. Get some suntan lotion because you're going to need it. Whew. I literally just got hot finishing that reading. That's freaky. All right, Gemini, I love you. You have been through some shit, and it's getting better all the time right now, and I have probably popped enough red flags to flag this video rated R. So uh, sorry for everybody, but um, worth it. Had to be said. Had to happen. This one was intense. I have no clue. Anyways, happy Valentine's Day. Be sure to check out my music video where I do the bass cover for our 601 girl, Caitlin's um, Sunrise Sunset. It is indeed the energy for Valentine's Day. So Tero and chill for a momento. I actually have enough to make a playlist. We're starting to get an album of bass covers. I can do a lot of things with these hands. Right, Bill? He a Gemini. He says hello. I don't know why you say goodbye. He says hello. So make it a great one. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If you this resonated, book a personal reading with me if you free will would like to by emailing me at archerastrology at gmail.com and we shall connect and take it from there. And join me every Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I go live. We do an all signs from Aries Pisces. Come tear on chill with me and the Mod Squad for a little bit and get ready to start your week off right. Um, otherwise, if you would like to come and join me, Gemini, I will be in Hamburg, New York with the Mods uh, for my first live meet and greet. It'll be April 1st and April 2nd at Flickr Gifts, Crystals, and Inspirations. Um, like the awesome store. They're in Hamburg, New York on Buffalo Street. Look them up on Instagram at Flickr Gifts, uh, Facebook Flickr Gift Shop. And I'm posting stuff too about it. We're going to be giving away tarot decks and you can book a personal private reading with me or we can do a personal reading right here on the channel. I'm going to do my live all signs that weekend from there with everybody that's there. We can all hang out. We're going to do it live. Um, sales throughout. Dude, there's lots of stuff. You better just check everything out. Check it out and come hang out with me April 1st and April 2nd. Until then, and until next time, Gemini, um, embrace all that sun energy and make having fun a priority. You've got this. All right, Gemini, I love you. Peace out. Yeah, chariot.